Hey everybody, welcome to the top 10 once again. To explain this one, this came in from one of our subscribers. I forget who it is. I'm sorry. I need to start writing this stuff down. Wanted to give it a top 10 restaurants we like, top 10 restaurants we don't like. And that's what we're going to do. First 10 is going to be the top 10 restaurants that are golf cart accessible that we like. And then there'll be top 10 restaurants that are golf cart accessible that we just don't care for. So let's get to it. Thanks for the suggestion. Sorry I didn't write your name down. I'll try to do better next time. Let's get on with the video. That being said, let's start before with Judy. We start, before we start, before we start, this is to the guy that they don't like beers and drinking. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> this show is going to be about 10 restaurants that we like that's golf cart accessible in the villages. And every one of us will have two. And then after this, we'll do one about 10 restaurants in the villages that's golf cart accessible that we really don't care for. So let's start with Judy. Okay. The first restaurant that I really like is Bluefin. And every time I've eaten there, I've always felt like the food has been good. It's reasonably priced for a nice restaurant. They've got a lot of variety. They've got um, where you can get a sandwich or you can get something more. So that's my first restaurant. And my Agreed. second restaurant is the Finney Grill. And the Finney Grill is in a really pretty setting. It's down by the village of Finney, right next to their recreation center. And there's all these beautiful oak trees with um, the hanging moss on them. And when you go in the restaurant, you can sit on the porch and that overlooks the swimming pool. And that's a really pretty view. And um, it's they've got good food. I've always enjoyed eating there. I agree. And can I add, this is not a question again, but Skip always says, ask a question, but I have a statement. I have another statement to make. I, I agree that Fenny Grill is gorgeous. And in fact, I think Fenny is the reason we ended up buying here because Roy and I went to Fenny Grill and the Fenny Rec Center and that whole ambiance with the big trees and the shade and the flowers, the restaurants wonderful on the side. And then they have that family pool in the back. And then they also have that walking area, that little walking trail all the way around it where you can see yeah. the turtles and the alligators. It's a great setting. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree too with everything yes, you said. Pretty. Especially the pool. I like the pool. Okay, let's go to Sue. Okay. <laughs> My two favorites. I got a new favorite uh, as of the other day. It was Coastal Del Mar, which oh. is um, the brand new one in Spanish Springs. It's an FMK, but the, the food was excellent. The waiters... Were, were truly on their toes the whole time. I had a group of 15, and like I said, they, they took care of everybody very well. Very quick. The The place is, is decorated nice. It looks like they've got some work to do yet. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I really, really liked it. The The food was really good. I, I had the lunch menu, but they did give you an option. They had a vegan option. You know, I really enjoyed my time there. Oh, question, sure. question. So what kind of food do they have there, Sue? It's a seafood. All yeah, you seafood? Know, and, uh, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And they, you know, they do have soups and salads. They have a, a nice, oh, what is the the chowder? They have a really, clam really chowder? nice. chowder? Yeah, the, the lady next to me had the clam chowder. And, and I've never seen one that had that much in it. It, it really oh. was good. And I had the uh, shrimp avocado bowl, uh, which was just wonderful. Uh, and I said, I've never had it made that way that's why i said the taste was terrific and and i said so that you know it kind of convinced me i want to see this place another time <laughs> it's not easy getting good seafood around here <laughs> it's true. i have a question and, sure i have a question what is the name of the restaurant coastal del mar okay and that my second is tequila cantina uh, it was formerly naldo's they were celebrating their years like I said, they've been here uh, all year as Naldo's, and they're changing the name uh, to Tequila Cantina. And I guess the name change went this week with their, their year's anniversary. But I like it because it also has a vegan menu. I mean, they have four particular things on, on that menu, and I, I like every one of them. So that it's just an option. 
Where, and it's where on is that place located? Um, in Southern Trace Plaza, in the Publix Plaza. In Wedgwood Lane. On 466. And where's Coastal Del Mar? Where's that Coastal one Del Mar is in uh, Spanish Springs. It was formerly um, Farm Shed, and before that it was 2J's. I have a lot of favorites, though. I like everything. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to... Okay, let's go, go to Jose to his right. favorite. Just to prove, I had the exact same restaurant that Sue picked up. So I, I agree with both. I really like them both, especially tequila used to be Naldo's. We, we like Fiesta Grande as a Mexican, but our number one is that one. Now, I have other two or so. The first one is on, on Linda's uh, territory, Sakura. Did I say that right? You told me Sakura, no, that's close. Sakura, right? close. It's a Japanese, say it again. Japanese. I didn't catch that. Sakura. S-A-Q-U-R-A. S-A-K-U-R-A. K-U-R-A. Oh, Basically, Sakura. Right? Sakura? Sakura. No. <laughs> he's Linda, he's better it. than you. <laughs> but anyways, it's a Japanese place. Uh, it, there's one. I think there's more than one. I think that's one in Lake Sumter. But the one in Spanish Springs, we, I really, we really like it. Sushi is really good. Mm -hmm. Very well priced. Uh, the amount of food is right. Uh, we really enjoy going there. It's very easy from home. Five minutes in a golf cart. We really enjoy it. That's a Japanese place. The second one. Wait a minute. Is an, go ahead. Go ahead. Do, go do ahead. you think you get your money's worth? Because you on the yes. last show was one saying that you didn't like the idea of some of these restaurants. The quality of food didn't yeah. match the oh. price. Yeah, correct. Um, this is a place that I've been many times. That means I agree with uh, the price and the quality of the food. The second one is an Italian place it's called Mesa Luna. I don't remember, Sue, you might know the area better because you're a little incident, but I don't know the name of that plaza. Colony? It's Colony. It? Yes, yeah. Colony. It's in Colony. Yeah, Mesa Luna is a really good place. It's, it's a place that when you go in, you think, oh my God, he goes my, my credit card. <laughs> because it's, it's it's very pretty, you know, and the menu the menu is on is on iPads and it's very fancy. But to be honest, I was extremely surprised at how good the price was and how good the, the food was. We, and I've been there many many times. And as a bonus, the little ice cream shop next to it is really good too. I forgot the name, but what do you get at the Italian restaurant that you like so much? The first time I got a salmon, some sort of salad with salmon, even though it's an Italian place. Uh, Maria uh -huh. got one of those uh, chicken marsala, I think, uh, one of those uh -huh. Italian dishes. But I've been there maybe three or four times. And, he, and even two friends from out of town, and they agreed they really like it. So, you know, as I as the Skip said, there are some places here that I don't enjoy much. But these two, I definitely recommend. And I believe the price and the food, they are where they need to be. Okay, so now, <laughs> You're if, always if I can get to me. stay on subject... We're going to go to Linda. Okay. My, you know, I have to do a disclaimer though. I feel like I haven't been to enough restaurants that what I say is going to necessarily be the best for people. Um, but I can tell you what I've been enjoying and what Roy and I have been enjoying so far. The, the breakfast place that Roy and I keep going back to because we love it so much. It is in the Fenny area and it's called Reveille. And in fact, I ran into Judy P and her cousin and her cousin's Nice, I guess it was, um, the other day when, when I stopped oh. by there. But it's in Magnolia Plaza, um, right, next to the Everglades Rec, right next to the Everglades Rec Center. And they have all kinds of, they're only open from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. So it really is meant to be breakfast, lunch, brunch kind of a thing. And um, they have breakfast parfaits, they have mystic stuffed French toast, and they have real corned beef, not the corned beef that comes out of a can, but real corned beef and then different things with it. So they even have like a corned beef ben Benedict. So they have um, regular Benedict and California Benedict and also corned beef Benedict. That's I right. love corned beef out of a can. <laughs> no, you would. Corned beef. What is it? That's the corned best. Beef yeah, you, you would. Yeah. I, I, I believe that. <laughs> okay, so, so that's that's number one. The second one is a secret. The second one is a secret. Ooh. And it's not a secret of where it is, but it's a secret that you can get to it via golf cart. And that is Sunny Pint. And I love Sunny Pint because they have great, oh, I should tell you where it is. It is uh, right past the Brownwood Spa on 44. 
and you technically aren't supposed to go there by golf cart. Mm-hmm. But you can that means but no. you can't. You can, yeah. What you do is you go like all the way towards where the Brownwood Spa is. And then if you go through the parking lot and you go to the left, you know how Wildwood is putting all the um, sidewalks all over the place now, like all the way down 44? Well, they've added a sidewalk along there. So you can actually just take that little sidewalk and you have to sort of jump off at the end, but you can go right to Sunny Pine. So you're saying we can drive our golf carts now on sidewalks? So if I should accidentally hit an old person on that sidewalk and we go to court for injuries, the judge is going to look at me and go, oh, it was okay to be on the sidewalk. It's okay. It's okay. Disclaimer for people that don't live here. What she just said is completely illegal. (laughs) Being on the the sidewalk is completely (laughs) illegal? Of course. Just go ahead and go on the sidewalk. As long as you blame her on me, I'm okay. You guys are not letting me make my report. Was that your first one? It's my second, second one. one. If I can get it out, so can I keep going here? So the reason the reason I like it is because it's a tap room and eatery. They have lots of small plates, um, like uh, what do they have? They have uh, tacos. They have uh, flatbreads. They have um, all kinds of sort of nibbly things. You can have salads. They have great salads, great soup, um, and they have a whole tapery. And I discovered beer, which I guess partly because of skip <laughs> oh. except except that the kind of beer i like is not the kind of beer skip like so the kind of beer to, that they I have i can't wait to hear what kind of beer you like quit interrupting oh, sapporo sapporo, sapporo? Oh, probably no. cherry flavored sapporo no, is a it's pineapple beer. I like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the beer. best thing <laughs> there's pineapple there's papaya paradise there's tropicolada <laughs> There's That's my smooth. favorite, Those which is guava. And this is all beer? Is all yes. beer. There's even one called Every Day is Saturday. Well, it, is. <laughs> it is. And this that is your favorite way. place? It's perfect for the villages, right? Yeah. Every the day name is Saturday. perfect. Yeah. yeah Every day perfect. Saturday. Do you think both these places you're talking about, the food is worth the money? Yes, definitely. Yeah, right. definitely. Reveille is very reasonable as a, a brunch place, a lunch place, breakfast place. And Sunny Pine is great. And they have specials. They have specials during the week, too. So you can try a lot of different things. And you can combine your food with all the different kinds of flavored beer. Yeah, he edits everything out that he doesn't want. I already got it in my head, but I'm going to edit out. You actually have something in your head? <laughs> oh, see, now I'll leave that in for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my likes as far I got them in order too, and I don't get to all of them a lot. But I, my two number ones that I would go to by a golf cart if uh, I had to go, my number one would be Olive Garden. I just think you get a big bang for the buck, and I just like their food. We know. <laughs> yeah, and then number two is I don't know if I'm gonna say this right, Kiyami. What? Kiyami. Yeah. Kiyami. And I've told Sue, as far as Asian food, I don't know what that is. Chinese, Japanese, I don't know what it is. That that they've got some of the, for my my standards, they've got some of the best Asian food around, and that's where I like to go. And how long have been? Where is that one? I haven't been there in a long time either. It's probably been a couple. Well, last time we was there was when Fat Bob came down here, and we met him over there for dinner. Where's the location? It's in Spanish Springs, next to the hospital. Okay, I'll have to go check that place out. So just for clarification's sake, just if somebody happens to be interested, Koyame, or it's K-O-Y-A-M-E, right? Koyame, right. is not how it's spelled? No, I don't yeah. know. Well, that's my favorite, favorite too, right there. That's all golf cart accessible. You know, any of them we've said that uh, sounds good, I say try them out. And if you don't like, uh, if you can't drive your golf cart, if you get arrested while driving a golf cart on the sidewalk to go down to Sunny Pints, <laughs> Get a hold of me, and I'll give you Linda's email address. We need, we, need, we have a bailer, a special bailer. Um, so can I finish what I was saying? So, Koyame, sure. just for your oh, clarification. Oh, sure, I thought you were done. <laughs> you know, let me finish. Koyame, for your clarification, is Japanese. However, my experience around here in particular is there are a lot of restaurants that have Japanese names, but when you go inside and you order the food, it's not really Japanese. So Skip is actually right. It's Asian rather than Japanese. 
That's our top 10 restaurants that we like that is golf cart accessible, except for one, Sunny Pines. Do not drive your golf cart down the sidewalk. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one, which will be the top 10 restaurants that we dislike or don't care for here in the villages that are golf cart accessible. So with that being said, we'll see you on this Wednesday Sports Sutton. Keep watching the top 10 series. There's a lot more to come. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for becoming a patron or a YouTube member. We really appreciate it. With that being said, we'll see you on the other side.